Welcome to Jamaica Magazine. I'm Adrian Atkinson. Did you know that today is being celebrated as the first official World Bicycle Day? Oh yes. Of course, we Jamaicans have long seen the bicycle as a handy vehicle for physical education. Children, young people, even elders are clued in. But did you know those hours of cycling can help keep you fit and healthy? Bicycles can definitively come in handy with the Ministry of Health's Jamaica Moves campaign. So get on up and get cycling. But wait until after this, your favorite Jamaica magazine program. Let's get a little breeze on this land. All right. Now let's get some bounce in the rhythm. All right. <laughs> let's get some fire on our hearts. No, that's is what we call all right. Run, come, get some Jamaica. Let's visit the Norman Manley International Airport and take a look at the environment it's been creating on the global travel market. Welcome to the Norman Manley International Airport, your gateway to the Caribbean and the Americas. It's Jamaica's principal business and visiting friends and relatives access point, providing a wide range of services and amenities to meet the needs of the most discerning traveler. The Norman Manley International Airport provides a distinctly Jamaican experience and is a first-class facility characterized by efficiency. Through the departures experience, travelers have access to the fully automated Park and Fly Extended Parking Facility. The Red Cap Porter Service, which provides courteous luggage assistance from the curb to the ticketing counter. Spacious, inviting, and modern, the ticketing hall provides services from 13 airlines, and for convenience, the automated self-service easy check-in reduces wait time. Savor your last moments in Capital Kingston by relaxing with family and friends or with a memorabilia from the photo station. From the ticketing hall, the Norman Manley International Airport provides three access points to the Upper Departures Lounge and Club Kingston, the award-winning VIP lounge. Choice, convenience, comfort. The Departures Lounge provides an all-inclusive package reflecting Destination Jamaica. Through the variety of savory and spicy meals, speciality duty-free shops, and the airport art displays, a positive passenger experience is created. Club Kingston provides a secluded relaxation space for both leisure and business. The lounge affords a cultural experience reflecting Jamaican hospitality and luxury. Similar services can be accessed through the Club Kingston VIP Arrivals Lounge. Local and international travelers have the opportunity to acquire, select high quality goods at exceptional prices through expanded duty-free shopping to either grab that memorabilia that defines a milestone or a gift for that special someone. Nine jet bridges welcome the world to Kingston Central. Arriving passengers first embrace the warm tropical climate as they walk through the two-level passenger pier, which separates arriving and departing passengers in keeping with international security protocols. The passenger pier provides access to immigration and customs services available 24 hours daily. For convenience, a customer service post is on-site and automated check-in options. 
To guarantee minimal delays in the customs procedure, three processing options are provided. Nothing to declare, items to declare, and passengers for special consideration, including children, the disabled, and elderly. These areas are color-coded for ease of identification. Travelers can access support services through the hospitality desks located in the transportation hall. Ground transportation, car rental, tour operators and hotel accommodations can be arranged through this multi-purpose facility. The arrivals forecourt provides an aesthetically pleasing environment with covered seating, a food court and bar. It is here that passengers are greeted with a true island experience, a very cool jelly coconut from the Jelly Man. Located on a picturesque peninsula and bordered by the seventh largest natural harbor in the world, the Norman Manley International Airport continues to provide modern air travel conveniences with 14 aircraft gates which can accommodate the Boeing 747-400, two remote stands, and multi-level departures concourse. Based on its strategic location, Norman Manley International Airport is capitalizing on air freight services through its state-of-the-art cargo and logistics center. This allows the airport to contribute to Jamaica's increasing role in the global air cargo trade. Safety and security is priority for the Norman Manley International Airport. The advanced security system for passenger and luggage screening is part of the layered approach adopted to ensure passengers are safely transported to and from their destinations. Effective, safe and reliable general aviation services are also key to enhancing the traveler's experience and expectations. From arrival to departure, a high level of management systems and processes ensure that the general aviation services provided are equivalent to worldwide standards. For over 70 years, with over 130 international flights per week, the Norman Manley International Airport remains committed to providing travelers with an exceptional Jamaican experience through its world-class transportation hub. One capital, two coasts, one connection. The Norman Manley International Airport is your Kingston gateway to the world. So here are the facts. Seven out of 10 Jamaicans die from a non-communicable disease. Because we love our people and we want them to live better quality lives. We, the Ministry of Health and our partners are launching Jamaica Moves. Jamaica Moves is a call to action to prevent non-communicable diseases. By educating and encouraging Jamaicans to be active. Eat healthy. And start living 30 minutes at a time because 30 minutes of physical activity each day, along with proper nutrition, can go a long way. To prevent your risk from developing certain NCDs, such as diabetes, high blood pressure, obesity, and certain cancers. And remember, it's life promoting. That's why you see me going hard right now. I'm all about living. So help us take this first step towards a healthier Jamaica, so you can enjoy more moments, more memories, more life. Have you figured out a way to have more moments, more memories, and more life? No? Then clearly you haven't heard about the Jamaica Moves campaign. Check this out. Bust me, bust me, bust me, bust me. 
Get Moving for a Healthier You is the passionate call to action by the Ministry of Health. And it's creating waves across the country as Jamaica moves to tackle non-communicable diseases and CDs through regular physical exercise and proper nutrition. Within schools, the Healthy Lifestyle program is being rebranded through the Healthy Youth Positive Energy Hype Initiative. The reality is that seven of every ten Jamaicans would die each year. And we have about 18 to 20,000 deaths in our country each year die from what we classify as non-communicable diseases. Lifestyle diseases, to put it simplistically. And it's all about our physical inactivity and our consumption patterns, our habits. The Ministry of Health is on a mission to change that by getting every Jamaican to engage in at least 30 minutes of physical exercise daily. In fueling this fitness revolution, the Ministry launched the Jamaica Moves campaign under the theme, More Moments, More Memories and More Life. If you do what we are promoting, then as the tagline says, you'll have more moments, more time to spend with your family, your friends, do what you enjoy, more memories, capture all of those lovely memories and more life. Through promotional events across the island, the ministry is showcasing entertaining exercise workouts that persons can go home and practice. Free medical checks are also being provided. It's part of the preventative healthcare method, and that's the approach that we're trying to take before we get to the part of the curative side, which is hospital care. Jamaica Moves is also developing walking trails in each parish and partnering with local walking and running groups. This is all part of the National Strategic and Action Plan for the Prevention and Control of NCDs for the period 2013 to 2018. The plan covers seven main categories of diseases, cardiovascular conditions, cancers, chronic respiratory diseases, diabetes, sickle cell, mental health disorders and injuries. Rarely do we speak about the need to change our lifestyle in our own interests as individuals. And it is cheaper to do that. A third of your income, according to the World Bank, if you get heart arthritis, diabetes, cardiovascular disease, and all the others that are linked to lifestyle, a third of your disposable income, the World Bank says, will end up being spent on treating those ailments. So it, it affects the bottom line and your pocket also. Many persons like this man can testify to the benefits of living a healthy lifestyle which extend beyond monetary savings. All my family have diabetes. One night, I see my hand hook up like this, pull in and get cramped. My feet then start to cramp. The morning, I put on my clothes, get ready and go to the doctor. He do my blood sugar level and it was 20, 29.5. And he said, oh my God, you almost kill yourself. So the doctor said, I know what to do, Mr. Reed. He says, sir, sir, yes, sir. So I was weighing at, at the time 285 pounds with a big tummy like this. So he said, go and cut out your belly. And you know what I mean. So I said, I understood, doctor. I'm going to change my diet and I'm going to take up exercise 1 million percent. So I start off by one mile back and forth till I end up doing 10 miles. Exercise is the key to good health. Eat right, change your diet, less carb. Remember to put the running shoes right at your, at, at your bed. As you step out of your bed, you step in. And the first thing, you drink one cup of water before you move. And eat a lot of fruit, eat a lot of greens, and always have one glass of, blend, of the green juice every week. Dedicating 30 minutes out of every day to physical exercise may seem a big challenge, but begin with just one step and you'll find it becomes manageable. Regular exercise helps prevent damage to your heart's artery from high cholesterol, high blood sugar and high blood pressure that can lead to heart attack or stroke. Medical experts say aerobic exercises also improve the body's blood circulation and reduce the risk of type 2 diabetes while helping to control blood glucose in persons living with diabetes. There are exercises tailored to building muscle and losing weight, increasing strength and improving flexibility. Corporate Jamaica is on board with the Move for Health and even more are encouraged to take on the Jamaica Moves Corporate Challenge. 
It involves companies and their staff signing up and participating in the various Run Walk events. We want to mobilize as many companies as possible. So what we say to you is sign up your company, get registered, endorse the Jamaica Brew brand, which is a national brand. The reality is many of us don't practice healthy living. So we need more people to do it. And by doing it, encourage others so to follow. Persons can learn about the various Jamaica Moves challenges and events by logging on to the Ministry of Health's website, moh.gov.jm or jamaicamoves.com. Staying fit and healthy is everybody's business. So get moving for better health. The Electoral Commission of Jamaica, ECJ, has extended the validity of all voters' IDs. Yes, I said it. All voters' IDs are valid until December 31, 2019. Businesses are being asked to continue to accept voter ID cards as a valid form of identification. Don't worry, the ECJ will continue to process new and replacement ID cards until the new expiration date. For more information, call toll-free at 1-888-991-8683 or email eojinfo at eoj.com.jm. The Electoral Commission of Jamaica, committed to free and fair elections. The May 23rd Labor Day concert was a show to remember. Kevin Downswell had the patrons skanking and running about the place as they sent up their praises. Get on up out your seat as we bring you some highlights. Here we go! Here we go! I feel like running, skipping, praise the Lord for what he has done for me. Set my spirit But don't like running Skipping Praise the Lord Jesus For what he has done For me Watch it, watch it, watch it Now everybody do this Let's go Next up Next up As of May 31, whenever you are making local calls, you will have to use the area code 876 before you dial the existing seven-digit numbers in your contact list. This is because Jamaica will be receiving a new area code, 658. Yes, all Little Island will now have two area codes, and to ensure you're calling the right person, you will have to dial 10 digits. Don't worry, if this is new to you, you still have time to get used to it because there is a five-month permissive dialing period where you will be constantly reminded. Ten-digit dialing. Another step in making Jamaica the place of choice to live, work, raise families, and do business. The 10-digit dialing permissive period is now in effect. That means you have five months to get the hang of putting 876 before the seven digits you are dialing. For some businesses, the changes required may vary, but the Office of Utilities Regulation has you covered on the ways to proceed. <music> Ten-digit dialing is no in effect, so from now until October 30, 2018, you are being reminded to add 876 before the seven-digit number you are dialing. For business operators, the change may be a bit more technical, but Elizabeth Bennett Marsh from the Office of Utilities Regulations is here to tell us all about it. We have been doing um, a great deal of sensitization. We have been updating, especially business customers. We have had several sensitization meetings across the island, in St. James, in Manchester, in Kingston, as well as with government ministries and agencies. For businesses, we are encouraging them to ensure that their PBX systems are reconfigured to include the 876, the 10-digit dialing. 
We are also encouraging them to change out their signage that they may have in the front of their businesses, etc., to include 876, uh, letterheads, etc. We're also include, um, asking um, companies who provide services, for example, point of sale machines, they use telephone numbers in order for your business to be transacted successfully those POS, those point of sale machines, will have to be reconfigured to include the 876 so that when you go to the supermarket and you swipe your card, you should have a reasonable expectation that that transaction will be processed successfully because the numbers now in that um, machine would have been reconfigured. Also for alarm systems, we're asking companies um, when they to, to also do that, to also reconfigure their client's alarm system so that if it is an alarm is sent out, then it goes to where it needs to go. Um, we are also asking customers and um, businesses to do sensitization with their staff members so they know exactly what to expect. We have also asked and we have been assured by the telcos, the major telephone companies, that they will be standing ready to assist their customers, whether it's individual customers, residential customers or business customers in whatever way they can. One of the other questions that we get from customers is will there be a charge? Cell and Flow have been saying to their customers, right now they don't envision that there will be a charge. They have also said that once you call, remember we talk about the permissive dialing period, you have $50 on your phone, for example, to make a call. You dial seven digits, you're getting this recording. Will I be charged to listen to this recording? They have said no. You will not be charged to listen. So your, your, your money is not used up until the call actually starts being put through. So there you have it. Please ensure you're making the necessary changes to facilitate 10-digit dialing. Keep we island clean, so clean. From the peaks to the beach, so clean. Not a tea of Jamaica, please don't do it. Keep we island clean, so clean. From the peaks to the beach, so clean. Not a tea of Jamaica, please don't do it. No dash, no paper, no dash, no plastic. Dispose your garbage responsibly. No know how to recycle. Learn it quick, and if you drop it, better pick up every piece of it. Plastics last forever. Don't forget the bits. Cause when them touch the street, them end up in at the sea. Collect pan the reef where they fish them feed. And when you want seafood, I eat Keep your eat. Island clean. So clean. From the peaks to the beach. So clean. Not a tea of Jamaica. Please don't do it. Not a tea of Jamaica. Not a tea of Jamaica. Jamaica. Jamaica continues its advancement in technology from providing tablets in schools to creating free public Wi-Fi areas across the island. The technology ministry has also zero-rated all government websites. Check out gov.jm, the gateway to government services. Searching online is what most of us do every day. Information is the world's new currency, and the provision of quality information is what is setting businesses, governments, and even countries apart. And when we search, we're looking for information that is accurate, easy to understand, and relevant. And we expect to get there in three clicks. The Jamaican public sector is delivering numerous services every day, to clients locally and abroad. Clients who cannot afford to waste neither time nor money searching through hard to find information. Introducing gov.jm, the gateway that will become the single online space for accessing information on government services in a way that is simple and seamless. Through the Public Sector Transformation and Modernization Program, PSTM, gov.jm is placing the needs of our clients at the center. By placing vast government information in one place, we are making it easier, faster, and simpler for our clients and potential clients to get the information they need, when they need it, and how they need it. 
For the potential investor or visitor to Jamaica, the ability to find information easily can make the difference between a decision to invest in Jamaica or somewhere else. To start, we found those everyday services in highest demand, the ones Jamaicans locally and in the diaspora frequently need. We took the services non-residents and investors frequently need, and we've started by creating a gateway to those services online. Gov.jm will allow those seeking to do business with government to find what they need faster. Whether you want to know how to apply for a passport, pay taxes online, register a business, or find out your health benefits under the Health Fund program. Information is grouped so that the user knows where to go right away, whether he's a resident, non-resident, or an investor. And this is the kind of information, the kind of service that will gain Jamaica international rankings for e-government. We're still at the early stages. The Gateway currently now indexes some of the services available online and provides clear navigation to them. But gov.jm will never stop evolving. It is the customer feedback about information they need that will guide the evolution of gov.jm. Over time, we'll work to bring more and more services online and create a standard online schema for all government websites. Gov.jm, the new gateway to government information and services. The search is over. Thanks for watching another edition of Jamaica Magazine. Do join us again tomorrow and we'll do this all over again. Send your feedback of today's show to Jamaica Magazine at jis.gov.jm. Also, follow us on our social media pages, Instagram, Facebook, and of course, Twitter. Download our app on your Apple and Android devices. And you can also visit our website, jis.gov.jm for more information. On behalf of the entire production crew, I'm Adrian Atkinson. Thank you for watching. This has been a production of the Jamaica Information Service, the voice of Jamaica.